In the middle of May in Knoll Park in Kent, the last medieval deer park over 1,000 acres and home to 350 wild deer. These are fallow deer which are similar to sicker deer. Tallow deer typically have a spotted coat with a long tail which has black stripes and white and black markings. A deer's tail is usually always twitching. A mature buck with, has antlers and a very prominent Adam's apple and a very obvious brush of hair under its belly. This is a young male, as you can see from the small antlers. Fellow deer range in colour from white to dark brown. Dark brown fellow are usually called black fallow. There are two million deer estimated to be living in the UK. There is a variety of different deer home to the United Kingdom. Six species, red and roe deer, are native to the UK, whereas Chinese water deer, munt jack and sicker deer are all non-native and were introduced. Deer live in isolated groups in open woodland and forests such as Knoll Park. Fellow deer graze around large areas eating grass leaves and bark off trees. They move around the big areas slowly and gradually one patch at a time. Deers have had natural predators in the past such as bears, lynx and wolves which are now extinct in Britain. There are a number of other threats for deers other than cars so the rangers have to control the population through culling like Epping Forest which sell their venison at the park. Culling deer helps the population control. The main reasons for culling is for less crashes on the road, stopping them from suffering from sickness and disease and helping preserve other wildlife. Damage to trees and shrubs may increase during spring and early summer. Fellow deer may damage growing cereal crops. Fallow can and do damage root crops during the autumn and early winter. Threat stags have at each other epically through rut season, which is though late September through to October and ends in early October. The fawns are born in June and July and their coats change through to September and November. Deer are relatively shy animals towards humans which may give the impression that there are fewer around than there actually are, like in Oak Hill. The fallow deer are very social animals, especially with the females. They will form big herds. If food supplies start to become scarce, they will split into smaller groups as this will increase their chance of survival. They are alert to danger and will respond quickly, usually by running away and or seeking cover but sometimes confronting head-on, running into wide open areas where they can assess threats. When confronting a deer in the wild, there are common behavioural actions which are a deer's warning off signals. These are usually aimed at humans. The signs are stamping one hoof once and making a puffing sound, almost like a spitting sound. This is to tell the threat to back away. There are common actions and the warning is to run away or attack. Deer can be easy to stress, but recover quickly when the threat is removed. One common response to persistent disturbance is for deer to change their behaviour, for example by avoiding busy times and places or becoming nocturnal. Fallow are most active at dawn and dusk, but frequent disturbance may result in deer making more use of open spaces during the night. In between feeding, fallow lie up in undisturbed places to ruminate. Fallow has been reintroduced twice by the Romans and the Normans after it died out in the last ice age. This is note kill between 2 and 5 a.m. These group of fallow deer are nocturnal due to the threat of the roads. They have changed their behavior. They cross the road to get to the woodland and open field area for shelter for the day as this is a built up suburban area and working class, meaning the cars begin to get on the road at around 6am and the herd will be long gone by then. These deer are extremely shy around humans, meaning you have to be extremely quiet around them. This has been Daniel Atom. That is all.